Hello all of YouTube, my name is Wobboy5699 Welcome back to another walking video This time, we are walking at night It is about, god, about 9 o'clock at night I got bored sitting at home I figured, hey, why not go on a walk? Because I enjoy walking You can't tell, but that's the moon That's the full moon tonight It's a little bit windy due to the flag and everything But it's still not too bad of a clear night Hopefully, it's. I think it's supposed to rain in the morning or storm and tomorrow it's gonna be Sunday. Thank God I'm off. So you have a couple more videos coming out. You'll see this Sunday morning and another video tomorrow. I don't know what type of video, uh, but we'll see what I feel like. And this is like my fifth time walking today. I think I'm just gonna, this is probably gonna be a short video because it's already a little bit chilly out and I forgot to wear my jacket. And you can hear the sound of my keys jiggling. But I wanted to do a video just walking around, do another upload for tomorrow, make this the first upload for tomorrow, and do another video tomorrow. I mean, I know I keep saying I'm gonna try to bring Let's Plays back, uh, but I'm still on the fence about that because a lot of people don't seem to like it unless I play not safe for work games, which they, you know, that's fun to play, to play but it's just so hard to censor. Uh, do the sensory now since i try to do edit my own and censor my own videos now since uh i'm still a beginner at editing even though i've been editing for god about seven eight nine years but i still use movie maker well i use i go back and forth between movie maker and video pad and uh to do censoring and reactions and stuff like that you know i have many friends who are fantastic editors and there's a car coming by who are fantastic fantastic editors that try to help me you know they direct they try to help me get editing with sony vegas pro with adobe Premier. i actually bought a a uh, monthly prescription of adobe Premiere for 20 dollars a month and i kept acting up and then i tried femora which it kept lagging and freezing and i spent 50 dollars on femora luckily i was able to get a refund back uh but i just stick to movie maker and video pad video pad on the computer has done better throughout the years because every time i use it on a laptop or a piece of crap computer it would freeze and error every time i clicked a button luckily with the, with the new computer i got it has gotten better and so thumbs up for that so there's my work i'm going back down there i already showed them my diet here today so i am going to see if they got any more flips out and we'll see if I got anything. So I will see you in just a minute. All right, and I'm going to the post office now. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is I was able to get a free flip, free flip. But the bad news is I did not win nothing on scratch. I actually won a little bit, but I played it bad. Usually if I can double my money on a scratch off, uh, if I just usually win my money back, then I'm just like, give me another one or something like that. But scratch offs are pretty uh they're all right when you uh working your own break and you got time to kill and everything but i much prefer going to the casino all the time not all the time but you know what i mean i think i was in here this morning i can't remember but uh we'll see if i can they keep the lights on and everything let me show you around the post office and everything interesting they are closed, so we're going to check my P.O. box. Luckily, with the P post office, you're able to uh, check your P.O. box at any time of the day. But I think I have one thing coming sometime next week. Yeah, nothing. I think I am getting a anime DVD from Crunchyroll. Well, luckily, when I buy something from the Crunchyroll website, uh, believe it or not, the studio... Crunchy Roll, who does the anime, is uh, like High School DxD and Maka and Taz and Witchblade and Burst Angel. When they bring them over to the United States, those types of animes are, they do those, uh, record the stuff and projects down outside of a town in Dallas, outside of Dallas, which I looked it up. Crunchy Roll's studios in Texas is about three, no, not three, four and a half hours. And I've been to Dallas a couple times and never knew about that so maybe the next time i am in the dallas area i will go crash the studio and be like give me a roll 
Not that I really do that, but uh, I remember going to a Q&A uh, Q in Missouri Comic Con and Caitlin Glass, who works with Crunchyroll, Funimation, or whatever you want to call them, uh, says that they're always looking for people to animate, uh, other stuff like the animators, writers, and stuff like that. I wish I know some of the voice actors on there do a lot of the ADR and writing and casting and stuff like that. A lot of anim a lot of the enemies that Crunchyroll buys and releases in the United States, they are usually have the same actors. They have a they have a, probably got a about twenty or thirty actors for each enemy they do, which is you know not a lot, but some of them are very very talented, and some of them are really really want to meet like jimmy marchi and monica real and jesse Gra jesse grill uh i did not meet caitlin glass personally i even talked about it uh but at the time i went to missouri comic con i only know her knew her from a small role in burst angel which it was funny because i was the first person because i went to billy when i went to the missouri comic con uh billy west's q a was at 12 o'clock and that got done about one o'clock and then i went over to uh next door because if you're at missouri comic con this year the expo center was where the show on floor is and you had to go across the street to go to the q a's which it was a big 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 turnout so and then i went over to the next room over and at the time they were doing sam jones's q a which sam jones uh people uh gen z knows him as flash gordon and millennials, no, Gen X knows them as Flash Gordon. And Gen Z and millennials know him from Ted and Ted 2. Now, I felt bad for Jim Jones because I saw probably about six, seven people in his uh, uh, Q&A session, which really felt bad. But believe it or not, the next one was Caitlin Glasses after Sam Jones. And I got, I usually, I got there with out of, out of, right as soon as Sam Jones left. Um... Didn't meet Sam Jones. He was at both conventions. I was at Northwest Arkansas Comic Con and Missouri Comic Con. So was Bobo Stewart. Um, but we'll talk about me being most of in just a second. I did go to Caitlin Glass's panel, Q and A panel. And it was a different guy because we're not on the main stage. It was in the next room over. So, but surprisingly enough, Caitlin Glass's Q and A actually had a full house, which really surprised me because she's in a lot of stuff. You know, I know her from Burst Angel. A lot of people know her from my year Academia, and so on and so forth. And of course, my dumbass question was like, hey, so, and I was the first one to who, as I was sitting right on the end of the seat, because usually when I go to Q&As and, uh, and stuff like that, I like to sit on the very end of the row due to claustrophobic, claustrophobia and stuff like that. And so Caitlin Glass came out and the guy, very nice guy, I actually got to talk to the guy who was hosting Q&A for about 20, for 10 minutes, very, very nice guy, we chatted, uh, talked about where I'm from and stuff like that, and all that, very nice guy, a lot of people, the people who are running that, uh, comic-con uh people of the pop roast culture are very very nice people i'm actually friends and been talking to the guy the head of the guy joey mills he is the host of pop Roast culture podcast whose website it does the who runs all these comic cons uh in the area which is like uh, arkansas comic-con little rock northwest arkansas comic-con rogers oklahoma comic-con tulsa and it's here branching out everywhere now and changes are if you go to do one of those comic cons chances are you're gonna you're gonna see joey mills there like i said people who run that very very nice people very very friendly people and so anyway caitlin glass came out and i was the first one to ask the question i'm like oh i want to do this right off the bat and i and of course q and a's are different like the guy asked my name was and asked me a question it was a different question for each one he goes what is your favorite dessert and i stood there like a dumbass i'm like shit and so i just popped off but they're like me a little nicely he's like yeah that's simple well, you can get down with that so when i asked caitlin glass you know first role i know her from which i said my favorite role too which so i pulled back because i was the only role i know her from was she played motorcycle chick in Burst Angel, which she took a minute, took a second for her to realize, but she finally knew who I was talking about. And so our question was, you know, uh, Jimmy Marchi and Monica Rial are my favorite and my top five favorite anime character actors. I have not met them yet, but I wanted to know from your point of your experience, what were they like working with? And she explained that she never worked with them in the studio because she explained that uh, uh, the uh, actors work separately by themselves and so what they said from the experience they've had were very very nice friendly and really great chats and the guy who hosted Q&A also said that he has both he also met Jamie and Monica and of course there was many people 
I was at the Comic Con who have both who have either who has met Jamie a couple times and they said that she's a very friendly person. So hopefully one of these days she'll come to a Comic Con close to home that I'll be able to meet her and show her my Rhea statue. And of course before I sat down I popped out to Caitlin and I said, Yeah, I wanna meet Jamie or I'm still waiting to meet Jamie because I want to show her my Rhea's grimmery tattoo. And she laughed about it, and then I showed her the tattoo, and she said that's probably one of the best Rhea's tattoos that she's seen. She never, she was on, she wasn't on high school at DXT, but she has worked with a lot of people who worked on that show. But anyway, I'll do another, actually, that made my video tomorrow, my Missouri, Missouri Comic Con experiences. I did one for Fayetteville, Rogers, whatever you want to call it. So, you'll see this video Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, I'll be posting the Missouri Comic Con video. Until then, thank you guys a lot for watching, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.